Hello, this is Samuel from 18th Time Lucky, and I'll be showing you my synthesis of sodium citrate. So I started off by adding 100 milliliters of distilled water to a 215 milliliter glass beaker. Now this is already on top of a hot plate with the stir bar already added. I then went on to add about 29 grams of citric acid, as this is the route I'm going by. Uh, so just dump that all in, and then made sure to turn on stirring to about medium just to get it nice and all dissolved quickly before I add some sodium hydrogen carbonate. Uh, so I added about 35 grams of sodium hydrogen carbonate but slowly spatula full by spatula full as you want to be careful of uh, overflowing your container as, as you see by the equation on the screen it releases carbon dioxide and this can get some nasty fizzing if you add it too quickly and can easily overflow your container which has happened to me way too many times, and I don't want that happening to me again. But because of some dodgy scales I've got, um, I just wasn't sure how much mass of each reactant I had. So I made sure to use some pH paper to keep track of the pH, see how much of that citric acid was still unneutralized. You can see here it's about yellow, so still a little, uh, little way to go before I get to green neutral, which you can see I eventually got to. I think I added about 38 grams in total of sodium hydrogen carbonate at that point, but uh, that shouldn't happen to you. <laughs> um, but then I went on to boil down the solution, as we want to concentrate this as much as you can. Just use a thermometer to make sure I was below 100 degrees, as it shouldn't decompose, but I've worked with things like sodium ethanoate, and I'm a bit, uh, still a bit not sure whether it's going to decompose or not, a bit paranoid because of that. Um, but when it got down to just about below 100 uh, milliliters, about 80 milliliters, I then wanted to transfer this to a smaller beaker to allow for uh, quicker boiling. You probably don't actually need to use about 100 milliliters of distilled water if you're doing the same thing as me. Um, probably you could get away with 50 milliliters. But either way, you get to the same result and of just concentrating the solution. And you know when it's concentrated enough, when slowly as you're, um, you know, evaporating away, which I haven't used a fan to help this up, um, to provide a bit of a current, you know you've concentrated enough when you start to see precipitate forming. You can see here it's, you can still, still see through the solution a little bit, but you can see white precipitate slowly forming there. It's going more and more opaque. And uh, when that's happening, you want to get off straight away. So... I made sure to take that off, left it to cool, about room temperature. You can stick it in the refrigerator to get even more product out, or even the freezer. Um, but I always seem to just get so much product that it just uh, forms a solid lump and I can never get any of it out. So yeah, it's a hard life for me. So, But then I went on for a gravity filtration, as you can see. You can just go for a vacuum filtration. You're not for that, but uh, my equipment annoyingly only came a little while after, a few days after, I completed the this uh, synthesis. But yeah, as you see in there, you should add about... I added two portions of 5 milliliters of acetone just to dry. Uh, you probably should add some cold uh, water to help uh, get rid of any impurities, but I didn't end up doing that. Uh, but the acetone is just to remove any water to dry it quickly, and once I was happy with, with that, uh, leaving some time between the acetone and afterwards for it to completely dry, I then took out the filter paper and added this to glass Pyrex dish with some tissue paper underneath to suck out any remaining water. And I made sure to use uh, as my spatula to spread out that uh, sodium citrate product just to get it nice and even, so it can evaporate quickly and get it nice and dry. So once I was happy with that, I just left it uh, to dry in a, under a hot lamp. You can see I'm moving it down a bit there. But it was still very lumpy at the end of this. I left it for about two days to dry. So I got out my trusty mortar and pestle, just to crush it up a bit to make it a bit more easy to work with, a bit more free flow. So I eventually got 43 grams of near powder sodium citrate, which shows about a percentage of 91%, which is all right. I can see lots of ways I could have improved. 
um, but ultimately I'm quite happy with that percentage yield. So it's that simple. Thank you for watching and see you hopefully in another video. Goodbye. Making sodium citrate. Yeah. I'm a great assistant. You are a good assistant. <laughs>